What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about upgrading your SCCM to 2010. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's get right into this. And within my environment, I am running version 2006. Uh, I also had a couple of hot fix and patches that I need to push out. I recommend that you push out all the patches before you continue. Uh, that's what I did. I installed everything. I rebooted my server. I made sure that the console was up to date. Once everything is done, we are going to open up a browser. We're going to enter this URL. I will provide this URL at the bottom at the comment section, so don't freak out. We're going to hit enter. It's going to automatically start downloading the enable early update ring 2010 exe file. We are going to click on the nice little arrow click on save as and I'm going to drop it inside the desktop and then click save. I'm going to close the Internet Explorer and there it goes our exe file. So I'm actually going to right click on that exe file running as an administrator. You're going to get this nice little dialog box because it's going to extract the files that you need to uh, get the new build. And we are going to click OK. You're going to get this dialog box extraction completed, which is a good thing. And the next thing that I like to do is open up start and type in PowerShell. And I'm going to right click on the Windows PowerShell ISE, run it as an administrator, and it's going to start loading up. And there we go. And we are going to open up that PowerShell file that was extracted from that exe file. And there it goes. Awesome. I like to open it up because I like to take a look at it, make sure everything is OK. And once you're ready, we are going to press the power button at the top of the toolbar, or you could just basically click on F8. It's going to start running. It's going to ask for your site server. You're going to enter your site server. I like to enter the full qualified domain name and hit enter. And then if everything works well, there you go, right? It's completed. So next thing that we need to do is click on start and open up our configuration manager console. It's going to start connecting to the site database. Once it loads up, we are going to click on administration, go inside updates and servicing. And there goes our configuration manager 2010. I'm going to select it, right click on it, and basically just click on install update pack. You're going to get the wizard. Uh, it's up to you if you want to ignore the checkup. Uh, I left it as is and then clicked on next. These are all the included features with the new update. You are able to enable it uh, later on, but I left it you know, alone. Click next here. For the client update settings, I left it as upgrade without validating and then just click next there. I accept the license and terms and then click next and then next again. And the green check mark is always a great thing, right? Click on close and eventually the state is going to change to installing. If you're not patient like me, you're able to select it. And at the lower right hand side, you're going to see show status. We're going to click on that. It's going to take you here. And we're going to click on that and show status. And there you go. It gives you a nice little overview of what's going on behind the scenes. Now, if you go back, uh, eventually the state is going to change to check pass. Uh, give it some time. The state is going to change to installing, which is a good thing. Uh, go grab something to eat. Grab a cup of coffee. Eventually, when you come back, you're going to see this, which is a great thing. Uh, at the top, you see a nice little banner. We're going to click on install the new console version. Your entire console is going to close up and then you're going to get this nice little dialog box, which is downloading the files. Uh, once that's done, you're going to get the nice little uh, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager console dialog box, right? It's going to start installing. Again, this takes some time and eventually it's going to load up your console. It starts it up for you from here. If you want to check if everything went well, we are going to click on the file and click on about configuration manager. And if everything works, you should see version 2010. If you want to double check, you are able to go inside administration, click on updates and servicing. And with the new build, it kind of cleans it up for you. And you're only going to see the configuration manager 2010. And the state is going to uh, indicate install. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and also do not forget about hitting that notification bell to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.